Roadkill Extra appears every single weekday at Motor Trend On Demand. It's a show that gives you question and answer sessions, deeper looks into our project vehicles, behind the scenes stuff, and here's a sample right now of one of the shows that you missed last week on MotorTrendOnDemand.com. You can watch them all with a 30-day free trial. Fiberglass. Wow, you know, you could, be an, you could be a car guy and never really experience fiberglass. But if you do, it really opens the doors to doing a lot of modifications that you might not be able to do otherwise. So what is it? Fiberglass really consists of two parts. You've got resin, and resin is really like the glue. It stays in a liquid form until you put in hardener. Now, the amount of hardener that you put in will affect the drying time. There are certain amounts that you would normally want to use so it doesn't go off too fast. It's kind of like the three little bears. You don't want it too hot and you don't want it too cold. I'm gonna pour some of this resin in here. Wow, this is some pretty old stuff. I don't know why it's black like that, but I'll pour in a little bit of resin I mean, and some hardener probably a little hotter than normal. Give it a stir. And that liquid, after a while, is gonna get rock hard. Basically, it's gonna turn into plastic. So is that it? Nope. That resin has very little strength on its own. So you need some kind of reinforcing material, and that's actually the fiberglass. Now this is called chop strand mat, and basically it's just a random orientation of fiberglass strings, if you will. And the nice thing about this is it'll lay out in the form really nicely. So there are other kinds of reinforcement, basically cloths that are woven, and they're a lot harder to work with in my experience. But for automotive use, this will cover you 90% of the way and for making stuff. So we've all heard about different kinds of body fillers. Look at that. It's a little messy, that stuff. Well, these fillers are kind of a, a little different because they're very similar to the standard body filler you'd use to fix a dent, but they're reinforced with fiberglass. Now, generally, you'll find this stuff in long strand, which is, I guess, this one, and short strand. This stuff is really furry, so when you drag it around on your workpiece, it's not easy to form. When you go to sand it, both of these are really tough to sand, but this one in particular, since it's got long pieces of fiberglass, it's a nightmare, but it's strong. This one is good for bonding stuff. The short strands lets it squish out, and you can clamp panels together, and we use it all the time. For instance, on this hood right here for the Crusher Camaro, it's made out of fiberglass, and we want it to have this grump lump scoop on it. So you can see right here, underneath the flange, we put a layer of this short strand fiberglass filler, bonded it, put some tech screws in there to hold it. It's just about dry right now. So the next thing I'm gonna do is probably sand the rest of the flange and put some long hair in there just to make it super strong. So you may not have ever used fiberglass. You might never touch chop strand mat, but it's good stuff to know. The materials are readily available. And it opens the doors for all kinds of mods you wouldn't do otherwise. So grab some glass and find yourself a project and get busy. <laughs> If you need more Roadkill Extra, go sign up for the 30-day free trial right now.